it's your boy frame with the end i'm back with another video and in this video we're going to go over script writing writing a script uh, how to format a script properly um the reason you want to have a properly formatted script is one it makes it easier on the actors and two if you want to submit the script it has to be formatted correctly before submission so i'm here today to show you how to format it now i'm using writer's duet you don't have to use writer's duet you can use Google Docs, you can use Microsoft Word, etc. As long as you know how to format. The thing with Writer's Duet is it formats it for you. It shows you how to, it formats it for you um, from start to finish. So it has a free version, um, which I'm using now. They're not sponsoring me for it, so I'm not going to go into detail with billing and how much it costs. But if you choose to go with Microsoft Word, um, just follow the format you'll catch the hang of it and you will know how to format your script so the first thing we're going to do is go to new project now we're making this up um for the project we're going to say a knock at the door right now if you're in writer's duet you know we want to go with screenplay it's going to automatically sync to the title page if we pick title page first it's going to bring us to the title page <clears throat> excuse me but we're going to have to fill it in again. So if you go to screenplay, it'll automatically fill it in for you on the title page. You can also use this for virtual virtual reality. You can use this for a book, graphic novel, notes, radio podcast, etc., sitcom. So it just shows you that script writing is an essential part for translating anything visual from the paper to the TV. So you don't want to go over screen. You don't want to skip the screen writing process. I know a lot of times it's easier for us to freestyle, but from experience, it's a no on freestyle because you're going to have to do it a hundred times over. If you just take the time to write it out and put it in a script. So again, we're going to go on screenplay. I'm going to hit create. Now watch, let's go to the title page to the left. You see, it's already here. The only thing you have to come in and do is put your address, phone number, email if you choose to. But a knock at the door written by Frank Benjamin is already there. So let's go to default document. Now, you see how it's already here at scene. The scene, it's location. Day or night. It's, it's, if you read it at the top, it, says, it shows you, it's helping you. Um, and that's all you have to put. So we're going to put location it's a knock at the door so we're going to say interior uh, living room morning that's it we don't have to put anything extra we don't have to go into extreme details you go into the details with the storyboard which i'll show you right here we're in canva and this is storyboard right storyboard is where you come here and then you can put all the intricate details that you want in the shot to find a good one for you will look kind of like cartoonish but for right here you see scene one jesse and jamie are walking hand to hand then they have to up close to their shoes then they're looking off then they're sitting down he's proposing they kiss this is what this is for. You don't you don't put all of this into your script. You storyboard this out for a visualization. Um, you can come in Canva and you can use pictures, or you could you know get a family member and you can take your camera and take pictures of them operating how you would want them to, and then you translate that to the actors. But you can come here and get a storyboard in Canva. Canva has a free version. They also have a paid version. They're not sponsoring me, so we're not really getting into that either. But it's a storyboard. Um, and But you do not confuse storyboard with script writing. So you don't put you don't put all of that wide angle and close up. You can right here at the shot, but you see how the message come up? Um, where's the shot? That's text. It's really one second. Here it is. Shot. You see? Camera close up on someone, rarely used. That's because you're going to use that in your storyboarding. So back to the script. 
interior, living room, morning. That's it. That's all you put. Now you're going to hit enter and you see how automatically goes into the action. So again, the reason I use writer's duet is because the format is already there. If you use Microsoft Word or Google Docs, I'm not too much familiar with Google Docs. I don't know if it's formatted for you or not, but if it doesn't, then you have to format it and you have to format it like this. So you can Google examples and it'll show you. Um, but that's the purpose of this video is for me to show you how. So it's automatically going to the a action. So we're going to use Greg and Naomi. So Greg is going to be in the living room. So Greg is on edge as he watch as he watches chaos I'm sorry chaos unfolds on the news right he hears a knock at the door no we're gonna stop so Greg is on edge as he watches chaos unfolds on the news right so this is to your actor now your actor whoever is playing greg is going to be on the edge as he watches chaos unfold on the news this is the action this is what he's doing um so now you hit enter again you can set it up with another action he hears a knock at the door if you want him to say something you will go to character and now you see how it indent over here you're going to put greg and then now it's the dialogue so now when you hit enter after the character automatically goes to the dialogue again this is why i like this is because it's automatically formatted for you so you could put a line for greg um this makes no sense what is happening or what is going on with our country right so this is the actor's line. Whoever's playing Greg, he's going to say that, but he's going to act out this action before or simultaneously. Um, and now we're back at another action. Um, there's a loud knock at the door. Loud knock at the door. Now we're back to Greg. Or I'm sorry. I went to dialogue instead when I should have went to character. See how it ended it. Greg. Now it's when I hit enter. See continue. So once you hit Greg one time, it's automatically gonna go back to him. And when I enter Naomi, um it'll alternate. So Greg. Dialogue. Who is it? Who is banging at the door? Is that banging at the door? Right now, you can have it to where he gets up and walks to the door, but you can go, you can introduce Naomi here too. Um, Naomi, it is me, Naomi. Open up, it's an emergency. Now, the flow of it is that whatever. Greg is watching on the news that's unfolding. Naomi is going to bring it to his attention and bring clarity. Naomi is going to bring clarity. I'm sorry, I spelled Naomi wrong. But Naomi is going to bring it the clarity. She's going to bring clarity. So the whole base of this scene is to convey what's going on at the news. And we can go anyway. We can go political. We can go zombie outbreak. We can go mass shooting. We can go anywhere. Um, again, this is made up, so I don't really have details. But to give you a sense, this is how it is. Um, it's me, Naomi, open up. It's an emergency. So your next action, he is going to walk to the door, open the door. She's going to come in, pays back and forth. And then that's when she's going to explain what's going on. And then the story starts from there. But just to give you an idea, this is how you probably, this is how you properly write a script um it's just like this in this format and like i said if you use writer's duet you can it, it goes in order now the transition the transition is if you're starting from one place in the scene to another see how it's over here so it's transitioning from the living room you see fade in fade out dissolve to 
that's the transition scene from one area to another within the script. You're this is important too. Um, if you're if you're outsourcing your edit and a part they want there. So you give them all the you give them the script, you give them all the footage, and you say, Hey, this is how it's supposed to go. Um, your transition and lets them know when to fade to, when to dissolve, how to transition from this scene to the next scene, or if you want to transition from one area to another area. So Naomi and Greg start at the house, but then they leave the house and they want to go to the hospital, or they leave the house and they want to go to the library, or even from the house to the car. She's like, come on, like let's get in the car, let's go take care of this. Then you will put transition and transition to the car. It's still the same scene, but they're transitioning. Um, or if you want to go to scene two, hey, you scene two, and then that's when you will put the cut to the fade to fade in and out, dissolve, whatever. That's for the editors. But that's when transition comes in. Remember, shot. If you want to text, get fancy with the text, notes, outline, new act, etc. Song lyrics. If um, if you watched uh, Get Out or any other Jordan Peele movies or any movie in general where there is a person is looking for something or there is a moment in the movie where the song lyrics come in. Like in the beginning of that movie, I can't think of what it is, but um, it was a Jordan Peele movie in the, in the beginning. They were listening to I Got Five on it. So you could put that there and say, hey, you know, um, lyrics, I got five on it, play, I got five on it. So when you're shooting, you know to play that while they're driving or whatever. Um, but yeah, everything is pretty much formatted for you. And as you've seen when we first started, it started with the scene, the action, the characters, your dialogue. This is going to basically be your main four. You can use parentheses. Um, it's followed by the, the character's dialogue of their um, saying something that's been said before. You use parentheses. Um, and then again, dialogue and transition. But this is basically how you will write your script or how you will format a script. So um, again, I use Writer's Duet. You can use any other app or program or you can use Microsoft Word or, or Microsoft or Google Docs. Um, and also again, Canva is a good thing for storyboarding. And also if you wanted to um, make a cover for your scene, uh, you can use Canva as well. Again, they have a free version and a paid version. I usually you can do a blank storyboard and get real creative or you can just come in here, like I say, and just take pictures or remove the pictures. And you know what I'm saying? This storyboard has dialogue, but again, you have the script. So that's just extra work. So you do the, just write the script and you come over and storyboard it. That's where you have both. And then it just makes things easier when it, when you shoot, when I shot my short film, um, using the iPhone, desires i use this i use writer's duet and everyone i gave everyone a copy they had a copy of their script and we went from there and made everything easy they just had to remember their lines so for the most part that's how you write a script um if y'all have any questions feel free to hit me up for something i didn't clarify comment if something that you'd like to add on comment to that as well so the next video i'll go over storyboarding and we'll go a little bit of more detail in the storyboarding so I appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Check out some of my past contents. And we'll get to it. Peace.